to my channel. So today I brought my sister along. Um, she's gonna help me with this review. I like the last one, so rude. She didn't want to be in it. I like just having someone else here just to double check. I'm not making crap up. So because... like the one that just corrects her. I feel Let's bad, but I'm one of those people that like I don't do it as a mean thing. But if you say something, but I am also wrong, the most like, forgetful person on yeah, the planet. Yeah, or like you pronounce something wrong, I like try to correct you straight. It's yeah. probably like the teacherness in me. Like it probably I'm is, but to... it's probably also good because then I'm not really giving misinformation yeah. because I can just. Ramble and in my head it all makes sense, but what I'm actually saying might not make sense. Anyway, this is our boardwalk review. Yay. Hey, hi, how are you? We stayed at the boardwalk. <laughs> we, at the boardwalk. Um, we were very excited to try this resort because if yes. you don't know, it is walking distance to Epcot and, and Hollywood, Hollywood Studios. Studios. We have never been walking distance to a, a theme park. park. Yeah. Um, so we've that never was been very that exciting. close to a theme park. Never like, been that close. Not to even walking this, but we've never even been that close. No, not like not this day that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it was very exciting. So so this video doesn't go for hours. Let's jump right in to our review of the boardwalk. If I keep looking down, I'm looking at my notebook because I have to write notes, otherwise I forget. Um, could never be an actor because I cannot remember <laughs> scripts to save my life. So, let's get into it. We stayed at the boardwalk from the 14th to the 21st of December 2019. So we're there for a week long stay. We booked a garden slash pool view deluxe studio villa. Unlike Old Key West, if you have watched that review, this resort has views in the category. Uh, yeah. Old Key West doesn't have like the room category, the pool view, the garden views. view, lake view, theme park view, blah blah blah. This this resort does. So we got a garden slash pool view. So we knew when we checked in, we were gonna either look at a garden or we're gonna look at the pool. That is what we knew. We um, the other view they have there is a boardwalk view or a standard view, which might just be the car park or somewhere really yeah. random. I don't really know. But yeah, they're, they're the different views you got. So uh, we had to pay a little bit more. Standard was not available when we booked this. We rented these points. We're normally standard people. We, we don't really care. We're like, eh, whatever. Unless we get a good deal to move up. Yeah. But that was all that was available and we wanted to stay here. So we got a garden slash pool view, deluxe studio villa. Now let's talk about the price. It was 107 points. We rented, we gotta remember, we rented DVC points for this day. I am gonna have a whole video about how we rented, how that all worked. But the, the point of this video, it was 107 points. If you're a DVC person, that's how much it costs us in points to stay for a week. They then charged us 2,033 US dollars for the week stay, which if we averaged it out per night, it was $290 a night. Is how much we paid, if you do it like that. I looked on the Disney World website for December this year for a week. And it costs roughly, but when I looked, it said $584 a night. So we saved nearly two hundred dollars. Yeah, three ninety four ninety. No, three hundred dollars. We saved nearly three hundred dollars a night by renting. Yeah. My dog wants to go out again. I'm sorry. So yeah, we we saved a lot of money by renting points. Everyone rent points. I wish I had somebody you yelling stay at in me. The deluxe. Oh yeah. The only thing is you can't do it at Yacht Club, but any other deluxe resort, if yeah. you want to stay there, I'd honestly just consider but two two ninety. Um, at that same time, I looked because it was two ninety for us to rent. Caribbean Beach is three hundred. Yeah, Over so 300. we, I think for that one, we we're, were paying more than a value. It was more than yeah. It was like we're paying moderate prices. No, I think it was still cheaper. No, because I looked for this time of year when I looked up that 584. Um, one of the Port Orleans resorts was 280, and oh, okay. Caribbean was 330. We're on the very low end of a moderate for this resort. For this resort, so yeah, it unless you want to stay at values, like if you want to stay at values, Pop Century, I'd stay there all day, every day. Yeah. Pop Century is still cheaper than this resort. Um, they're renting, but like at Old Key West, we paid the same price, so. Anyway, we're not gonna get into that right now. That's how much we paid for this resort. And the area we stayed at, I don't know how to explain this area. Um, you pretty much walked past the lobby, head straight for the lifts. The lifts are like right in front of you, walk past the lobby. You go up to the third floor, you walk a few doors down, and that was where our room was. Yeah. We were um, very lucky because a lot of people so, say the, the hallways can go for forever in that yeah. resort. Yeah, so if you have been to, no, no. She's Sorry, chasing her tail. <laughs> If you have been to the boardwalk, um, like visited there before, you will know at the hotel there's like a big hub 
hub. I don't know if they, I'm thinking hub. Like I'm gonna say hub. It's the hub. Like the big hub grass, and at Christmas time, that's where their big Christmas it's tree facing goes. Facing the boardwalk. Yeah, it's yeah. like right off the boardwalk yeah. and off the hotel, so it's like a big bit of grass. Mm -hmm. um, our room was actually a view into that hub. So that was what we got. So to we see. almost got that was partial. like a garden view. Yeah, but we we found this out by just researching online. Yeah. So it was almost like a partial boardwalk view, which cost a lot more money. Um, but because technically you're facing the garden, they counted it as a garden. But we could see the boardwalk. Yeah. We're just to the side of the like, boardwalk. We were not on front on. But you couldn't see special birth. I think if you were in a, a few rooms down, you might have been able to see it. But from ours, you couldn't. Yeah. So we had. You could see the Epcot fireworks. We could even see Magic Kingdom fireworks and Hollywood Studios fireworks from our room so like from our balcony so it was pretty cool it was a really cool room so we just looked up beforehand online I don't know where I looked it up it might have been like touring plans or something like that I just looked up online or oh, actually we also saw on a YouTube, YouTube video, video that someone recommended one of these Amen. rooms because the other benefits of this room is not just the view that you get considering you're only paying for like pool garden view not a boardwalk but the balcony that you get... You have 20 people up there. It is like triple, I don't know, even more. I just posted my, a couple of days ago, my boardwalk room tour. Uh, it'll be probably a card in the sky or linked below or however you're watching this. It will be somewhere uh, in the description, however you want to find it. But I just um, put up a room tour so you'll be able to see that balcony. Yeah, so you also only get view. those size balconies for those Few rooms, rooms that are facing that green hub area. Because if we... Technically, we could have been directly on the other side and then we would have had our pool view. But we wanted, and we did actually request, we you can put room. requests in for rooms, but you're not guaranteed to get that mm -hmm. room. We did request those rooms what that were rooms? facing mm -hmm. the hub. Like, we actually level. found out what the room numbers we were. We wrote the room number down. And requested those room numbers and yeah. we were just lucky enough that they were able to fulfill the request. Got one of those rooms, yeah. So um, that was where we stayed. Um, it's not a big resort when we're comparing it to Old Key West, yeah, for example. It's quite small. If you are stuck in one of those rooms that is right at the end of the corridor, like you have yeah. to walk a lot of hallways. We were very lucky because we got the room that we requested. Um, it was at the beginning. So now that we've got that out of the way, you know those brief bit of information. Oh, by the way, the deluxe studio here can sleep five people. Yes. Old Key West couldn't sleep four. Yeah. You would see that in my room tour as well. But. As always, sticking to the same categories that I always stick to so my videos are consistent. Let's start with the first category, quality. Quality is um, cleanliness and maintenance of the resort. Now, this is where we had a little bit of an issue with the resort. The room was clean. Room? 100%. Oh, did you find it dirty? It wasn't dirty. Did you? I don't think I did. No, it was clean. Um, no, the room wasn't dirty. It was just the other issues yeah. we had with the room. room was visibly clean or even it wasn't even visibly like you run yeah. your finger along there's no dust there's no dirt it was clean but right. um when we walked in I didn't notice at first I think it was over excitement or that but then I started noticing it I did it smelled like cigarette smoke yeah and because I hate I absolutely hate the smell of cigarettes like I'm not a smoker I'm very against she smoking. cannot deal with it I, at yeah, I'm all. an asthmatic so I did not I walked in and I was like it smells a bit like smoke but then I sort of just I was also really excited so I looked around and then we sort of we opened the door and we talked to each other and we we're like does anyone else smell and then you this? sort of got used to it after a while so which is really bad yeah. but you got really used to it so anyway it's not like cigarette smoke now we weren't trying to cause an issue with the resort yeah. we're not trying to get money out of them or anything we wanted to make sure they were aware because if we had left that room and they smelt it, they might have thought we smoked in there and they actually charge you a cleaning it's fee. It's like a five hundred dollar cleaning fee charge. Like. So we went down there to tell them, hey, by the way, we think the people before us were smoking in the room because it had a smell. Like you can smell cigarette smoke. We yeah. had lots of issues with this, but in saying that, the resort was very good at trying to help us. They offered yeah. to move us. They gave us yeah. fast pass. No, the fast passes for the bags. Anyway, they lost our bags. That was another issue. <laughs> they had to give us. They gave us fast passes for that. We did have issues with, but this is not. It's sort of got a bit to do with maintenance. Yeah. The phone. The telephone. The telephone. Oh, they, and our magic band. And, and our mat. Well, yours. Mine was working. The, no, no, no. But it, it was the door reader. It wasn't. Oh, the door reader was broken for the magic that. band. Yeah. Um, so there's actually a lot that happened. They thought we were the Henry family every time 
Mummy Every called them on the phone, phone, but we're not. Yeah. That's where our bags went. Our bags went to the Henry family. Um, and they were like, these are our bags. And then our rooms got, our bags got lost. Um, we had the cigarette issue, but the resort was very good at trying to help us fix yeah. all of these issues. Um, I don't want to, I want to make sure I put out that the staff were, were incredibly yeah. helpful. We did have one staff member, I think my sister remembers, that didn't believe my mum. Yeah. And my mum's one of those people that's like, she starts off really friendly, like, no, that's fine. Yeah. But if you, you know, yeah. But if you, you tell her she's her, wrong she's like, nah. and she knows she ain't wrong, or she, she marched down there yeah. and she was like, you go get. We forget his name, but he was the manager that was helping us the day before. She said, yeah. you go get him because there is something wrong. So we did have a few issues, but like I said, it was like... In saying that... It was like the smell of the room. It wasn't... There was nothing dirty about the room. No. And everything got <coughs> fixed, so I think that's why it didn't ruin out... Like, as much as their magic bands, Ali's magic band worked, which was really weird, but everyone fun. else's didn't. And it wasn't a, like, that we weren't linked to the room situation. It was actually something wrong with the door reader. <laughs> We don't know but how that they, works. the maintenance came and fixed it and it ended up all working. They came and fully cleaned our they carpets. They came and got like, yeah. They did offer for us to move to another room, but yeah. we were like, mm, we loved our we room, love our room so and we had just of, unpacked all of our stuff and yeah. we didn't want to have to. So we were like, no, you know, we're actually happy to sit, stay with the room, but they off, they came in and deodorized it, which did help for like a bit, like for it. Almost a day, it did help with the smell, but then once that wore off, we could smell like the cigarettes. Yeah. And we did actually have the manager come up, and he smelt it, and even he yeah, said, yeah, he I can agreed. smell it. But like I said, the main reason we told them was because we didn't want to get hit with the fee of them thinking yeah. we're smoking in the room. So that was... Even with the bags, they were like quickly found them straight away and they yeah. apologized we didn't even we didn't even care like we didn't want we, anything we from just it. wanted our bags we just wanted our bags yeah so the fact that they're like no we know your bags are they're coming to you we're like okay that's great that's all yeah, we we're want like, thank like, you but they don't want it but they obviously Disney, give you compensation they yeah, try and they, help they try and like make up for it but we didn't want any of that so we had issues with the room but it, but the room itself it was, was actually a lot bigger too when we It was a in, lot bigger than we thought than it would we be. Thought we watched um, a lot of videos and like there was no missing paint. The the carpet yeah. was fine. The tiles in the bathroom were fine. Bit All older. The, it was a bit older and I remember the shower head wasn't that great. It was um, very like you turn it, it was, on and the pressure just goes like <laughs> It like almost pushed you, yeah. forced you. And we just had old Key West, which had just been done up not that long ago, and that was yeah. great. But here it was like. <sighs> but I think that's just because the resort. It needs to be The upgraded. rooms are a bit older, like yeah. they haven't been. It's due for an upgrade. But so. it still wasn't, it didn't really like impact. Like, we it wasn't. Didn't, we didn't hate the room. We still no. loved the room. But we need to mention these things. Yes. So, um, as for maintenance outside. Oh yeah, the, I can't. The resort was can't so fault clean. It. Gardens were all in place. They're yeah, always there cleaning. The gardens were beautiful. Watering the bloody freaking pathways down so there was no leaves and dirt and stuff on it. Yeah, the pools always seemed clean. We didn't go swimming here as much, but as Old Key West, but um, we did go once. Yeah, we, we did done go the, slide the slide and stuff. We went to the spa. And that was so uh, yeah, it was like the the resort was very well maintained. The rooms definitely have a few things oh, could be the fixed, lobby is like immaculate. the shower. Oh, the lobby was immaculate. Yeah, the the shower, and obviously we had the cigarette smoke issue. So because of those things, although it's a great resort, we only gave it a six out of ten for quality, quality yes. um, just because we had those few issues. And it's like if you didn't have those issues, obviously it's going to be a higher score. This isn't going to happen to everyone, but it did happen to us, so we have to take that into consideration. Now we're going to talk about transport. So in case you are wondering. You can catch a bus, you can catch a boat, you can catch the Skyliner from this or resort. you can use your legs and walk. <laughs> if you Technically. want. Technically. You could do that as well. But um, transport is usually actually a mode of transportation, not just your legs. Your legs so, are a mode of transportation. No, yeah, maybe on a bike, that's, that's a mode of transportation. <laughs> but anyway, so your bus, boat or Skyliner. You can catch a bus to everywhere but Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Would you not catch Hollywood? I don't think you could if you had the butt. Oh uh, no, yeah, you had to use the bus. So yeah. the bus is for everything but Epcot and Hollywood Studios. So Animal Disney Springs Magic. The you boat the bus. or the butt, as we call it. Yeah. The butt is for um, Epcot. only Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Yes. Or Beach Club if you want to go across the lake. You could also walk. Yeah. Walking is a lot faster than the boat, can I say, people? Unless. Unless the boat is literally picking up from Hollywood Studios and it has to go to one place, it might just beat you to Hollywood Studios. Like, that's if there's not yeah. a lot of people they have to pick up. It might just beat you. Otherwise, it's just faster to walk. 
Um, and the third mode of transportation is a Skyliner, which can only take you to, well, you can't take you to Epcot, you bought it at the Epcot. <laughs> Just outside, outside Epcot, Epcot so it's not like yeah. you can use it for Epcot, but you can use it for Hollywood Studios or if you do want to go to Caribbean Beach or Pop Riviera. Century or Riviera or Art of Animation. So that's all the modes of transport that they had here. Now, we had one night where we were all sitting around going, man, this Magic Kingdom bus is sort of taking a bit. And this other older lady who had actually been sitting there a lot longer, a than, lot us, longer than us, she yeah. called them and said, hey, we're just wondering what's happening. And there was a massive, massive accident. There was actually a car accident. Um, and on, our bus was stuck yeah, on in World that, Drive. Yeah. So it was very close. Like the bus was almost at us, but then there was an accident. They couldn't so get through. So they, they were all held up. Of, like the roads were fully closed for a certain amount of time. There was police yeah. involved. Like the buses all had to get go on like detour routes. Yeah. So, uh, so it was understandable. Held up, but once they yeah. explained that to us, we were like, oh, that's that's understandable. And like, it actually ended up coming like five minutes. Five minutes after, after we called. called. He obviously yeah. got through or they opened up uh, something for them to get through. Yeah, that was probably the only uh, real big issue we had with the bus. Otherwise, yeah, every the bus, other time the bus is the bus is really good to and from the resort. My only issue, which is why I've, I have marked it down, mainly because it's more so annoying. Um, but I get the skyline it goes down, but it, it went down too much in my opinion. Um, yeah. But when the Skyliner goes down, they tell everybody to go to the boardwalk and catch a bus from the boardwalk. They have a bus that that it's called like it's called the Skyliner bus. So mm -hmm. what it means is it will go to all the resorts that are on the Skyliner. So because Riviera, those people can't catch the Skyliner home from Epcot anymore. Yeah. So Riviera, Caribbean, Art and Pop. Mm -hmm. If you're staying at any of those and you were at Epcot, they say walk to a boardwalk and there will be a bus that's called Skyliner and it will take you back to your resorts. And it also just got really annoying because they're getting told that, but then when they get there, that so many of them are like freaking out. They were like, I'm not yeah, getting the bus, and we're like, the bus, the bus coming, like just calm down. Yeah, the <laughs> I get why they're freaking out, but I was like, oh. It's also very small at Boardwalk. There's only one bus stop for the whole resort. Fair enough, the resort is a lot smaller than like mm -hmm. Old Key West, but because it's not normally meant for that many people, it was. When, if it was rainy, we would have been screwed. Put it yeah, this way. Yeah, everyone wouldn't have been able to fit under the cover. It was that was my only like downfall, and then I felt like that Skyliner bus. How are they getting those buses? I feel like it's stealing it from somewhere because when those Skyliner buses were coming, they were like really frequent. But then we're waiting like the full twenty minutes for our buses to come. So I don't know if they had to then use some of our buses that might have been park buses to switch to Skyliner. Yeah, I know. I don't know. But that was the only reason why I let down. Um, the Skyliner went down a lot. When so the Skyliner it's, works, it's amazing. It's, it's great. It's quick. It's really, it's actually not that scary. Like, it's really, I re actually really enjoy it. It's Same. fun. But the Skyliner but has not to. Working. The Skyliner has to go down. Oh, welcome. Okay. Do welcome to having dogs. It's like having children sometimes. Um, ridiculous. Anyway, um, buses, boats, Skyliner. <laughs> The Skyliner. The Skyliner does go down if it's incredibly windy, if there is lightning. That's pretty much it. They're the two reasons they It will go. still operate when it's um, raining, raining, but, but if rain. there is lightning in the, like in a certain distance. Radius. Yeah. It will go down. Um, so it went down a fair bit when we were there. So that, something to consider, don't rely on it to get to Hollywood Studios. Maybe just walk if you can if it's not raining or you have to catch the boat. So for transport, uh, is there anything else you want to mention about transport before I move on? It was, it was pretty decent. It's not the worst we've had, also not the best we've had. So we gave it an eight and a half. Yes. Eight and a half for transport. Next category. Now I have to put a stipulation in here, just like I did for Old Key West. This category is affordability. <laughs> now <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. I said it last time, but this resort was incredibly affordable for us because we rented points. Yes. If you don't rent points, it's not affordable. Now I have to go off the price I paid, how you know how much I paid for the points and all that sort of stuff. That's what I have to consider. So for me, affordability, considering how much I saved and how much it would have been and what yeah. I got for it, I can walk to two theme parks. What? Never been able to do that before in my life. And just saying for us, that was a huge benefit. Ooh, for huge. Rise of the Resistance because we don't have a car and all of the Disney transportation don't start that early at the time that we had to get there to get our boarding pass. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we could walk was actually Lifesaver. really good. So the yeah. boardwalk was really good for that. If you ever have to get into Epcot or Hollywood Studios early for any reason, 
boardwalk might be your go-to. So uh, for affordability, like I said, deluxe resort, what we paid, we paid $290 a night, which is cheaper than some moderates. We gave it a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Would I pay $584 a night? Nope. Yeah, it's hard. You know what? I might because now that I've experienced it and I've experienced you've been a part of it, I'd probably rather pay 584 to stay near a Magic Kingdom resort at a Magic Kingdom yeah. resort. I would get close to paying that, but me, I'm always looking for the cheapest deal and everything, so I personally wouldn't. Well, like, no, I wouldn't pay it knowing that I can. Knowing rent. that I can rent, but if worst case scenario, that's all I could get and I really want to stay there, I, yeah. I might consider paying five. But maybe not for a whole week, maybe for a couple of nights or something. But uh, affordability, 10 out of 10 because of what we paid by renting points. Bless yeah. you. The theme, so the overall vibe of the resort, um, if you couldn't tell, which maybe you can't, but by the boardwalk, um, think of, we don't, oh, the equivalent in Australia would be Luna Park. It's meant to be based off like Atlantic City in America, but. Yes, but think of like Luna Park, it's that sort of vibe. Yeah. You uh, near the beach. Near the beach, there's a pier that has, or a boardwalk that has rides um, and like clowns games. and entertainers, dancing, singing, Food. comedy, blah blah blah. You, you get what I'm getting at. Um, a carousel, all that, all that sort of stuff. So that's the vibe. So yeah, it's, it is based on Atlantic City, but you could also sort of think of like the boardwalk in New Jersey, Santa Monica Pier. That's the sort of vibe, but you're, you're meant to be like at a beach, well you're at the boardwalk at the beach, and you're like part of the entertainment, you're like right there, you're, you're, yeah, you're in, like the in the entertainment, hustle, hustle. in it. Um, so it's very, very colourful, very different. The lobby is like stunning. Oh, like, like the horse chandeliers and, and the, the really the weird children face chairs that creep a lot of people out. And the fireplace and like the, the roller coaster. The gingerbread thing. It's not like a full roller coaster, but it's a display. Like a model. A model, that's it, a model roller coaster. Yeah, like the gingerbread display, the Christmas trees. They have like But that's, that's all to do trees. with the theme of the resort. Um, but it's just getting carried away now. Um, it was like very well done. It was very colourful, like the buildings were colourful. Yeah. I don't know how to explain this theme. It's a very hard theme. It but... was, so unlike I think when I was describing Old Key West, it's it was very relaxed. And this one's too. a bit more like up beat and you feel like it's a bit more go 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 you don't necessarily have to be go 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 you can relax here but that's just a vibe you get yeah. there's always something to do there's always something happening there's always something going down on the boardwalk there's stuff to do you know that's like the sort of vibe yeah. like you... we could hear with our room it wasn't bad so i wouldn't say don't get the room because the noise is an issue because it wasn't an issue for us mm. but you can slightly hear like the boat horns and like people outside but it was almost nice because it just added yeah to it wasn't that, it wasn't bad like obviously theme. if a kid was high-pitched screaming yes we were going to hear that but you would hear that yeah. in your corridor if a kid was high-pitched screaming so yeah we did hear that but it just felt more lively it wasn't chilled like old q it's more, it's more lively, it's upbeat, it's everyone's having fun, there's bars, there's food, there's entertainment. That is that is how I can explain the boardwalk to you. Bright, colourful, fun. Anything else you want to mention about theme? It's, it's, it is hard to explain. Yeah. It's just bright, colourful, something's always happening. I like the DVC side better from the outside because it is the colourful buildings, colorful building. whereas the hotel side is more just like a grey colour. Yeah, yeah it is. So, oh, and the, and the pool um, is heavily themed. Yeah, you, it's a, you come out of a clown's mouth. Yeah, it's actually called like the Lunar Park pool. It is called the Lunar Park pool, yeah. Because yeah. well, Lunar Park isn't an Australian thing, but a lot of Aussies understand that thing. Yeah, and they had like the carousel bar. Yes, yeah, yeah leaping libations. Yeah. Libations. Yeah. Um, so yeah, clown pool, slightly scary. You literally come, get shot out of his mouth. It was a fun slide. It was though. a fun slide, but like when you do turn around when you come off and there's this big, if you are scared of clowns, you can't stay at this resort. I'll put it this way. You'd be terrified. So you get an idea of the theme, I hope. Um, but it was, I loved the theme. I, like I said, you can't fault the theme. The rooms didn't match the theme. Like the rooms aren't over the top, bright, colorful, they're just rooms. They're nice rooms, but yeah. But I, yeah. you get what I mean. They don't really fit the um, the rest of the hotel. Went hard with the theme. Like there's yeah. some. I think there was like an artwork of horses in there. We gave the theme a nine. 
out of 10. 9 out of 10. It was so, it is so hard to explain this theme. I felt like it was way easier to explain Old Key West. Next, we're going to move on to amenities and entertainment. Oh my God. Amenities and entertainment. So we are talking about the laundry, the pool, the gym. Not that I went, but there was one. The slide, who went on that? The lobby. The, which Mickey only, I didn't even remember this, the entertainment out on the boardwalk. Yeah, and even in that hub area, like we had a yeah, like the um, carolers come. And but like the entertainment that you get in like the guide when you look, when you sign Yeah, up. they had like lots All of fun activities. All resorts have that, but they were That's like where they had cool the things. movies, like in the Under the Stars and stuff like that. So the sort of things we got, the laundry there, it was small. It does have an arcade. Um, it does have a community hall too, but we never went there. Yeah, the arcade, I will say, is bigger than Old Key West, but it's not the biggest set of deluxe. No. It's probably like a medium-sized arcade, because I know mm -hmm. like when we went to the Contemporary and their arcade was actually huge. It was massive. We were really shocked. Yeah, I was shocked. Um, so yeah, laundry. We use laundry a lot because staying at a studio, DVC side, you always get free laundry. You don't have to pay for it, um, but if you're in a studio, there's no washing machine in your room once you stay in a one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom there's a washing machine in your room so we had to go use the laundry and because i think at the boardwalk i think there's only one designated dvc laundry because it's the laundries are used for both the hotel and dvc side there's only one specific one that is for, meant for the DVC members because it's free whereas the other laundries at the resort you do have to pay for mm -hmm. So, I will say the only bad thing was the week with we were there at Bullbrook, it was raining a lot and the laundry, because we could only go to one, even though we only went to the same laundry at Oki West every time, they did have more. But there was but, no other one to anyone else. Yeah, it was very, there was always a lot of people in the laundry compared to Old Key West and mm -hmm. yeah, because it was raining that week, like, some people just had their shoes in the dryer and but for they, hours but they just left them in there and went away and must have gone to the parks and like had taken up this and so there's all these people waiting and they haven't come back to get their stuff and so there was sort of a few shoes it was a bit hectic in the laundry put it yeah this way. but there was a laundry it was free it was very clean it was yeah. very easy to use had a tv do you have a tv Which yeah I don't, at old qs yeah didn't we have sat down TV. and watched tv um so. the pool we did go in the pool and the spa at the pool. It was very nice. It was very clean. I enjoyed it. They were doing some sort of show, I get trivia or something on while we were there, but yeah. I, I, and never, they had, I like, never join in on what they're doing with they their had, activities. Um, things in the pool, maybe like balls and Oh, noodles, yeah, they had like pool. pool yeah, noodles, they did have balls and pool, which I think a few resorts do, but we've just never personally we've never seen it. One. They did have a gym. I walked past it. I can vouch I walked past it. There was a gym. Yeah. Didn't stop there, but if you do feel the need to go to gym, you can. Like I said, they had a community hall. We, we didn't go into this one. Unlike at Old Key West, we did have a sneaky peeky, but we didn't look at this one, so I'm not too sure what it was like on the inside. I've what they had available in there. Oh, the slide at the pool, they had that. That was great fun. Uh, that was Actually, a really, really fun fast. slide. Yeah, apart from the fact you come out of a clown's mouth, and that's slightly terrifying. It's a really fun slide. Um, the lobby. We had to mention the lobby in in this because I know we're talking about amenities and entertainment but you got a fireplace. It's one of those lobbies that you want to hang out in. Yeah. Like, say, like Old Key West you sort of only went to the lobby you if you had to go, go there. there. But, but this one you could yeah you could hang out like, for a bit. You would want to sit in So there. you had the the fireplace oh, which you can hang around about and then you also had a gingerbread academy was on while we were there because I actually did the boardwalk as a gingerbread house. They like recreated the boardwalk in gingerbread and then we never ever were there for it but they had like classes where you could yeah you had to pay you had to pay but like that was an option and it's only at those resorts that have that gingerbread display that they then do or they sell gingerbread and they have these classes on like i said we never did it we still go to I parks just much. remembered another thing though that counts as like amenities and activities and stuff they, we were really shocked. We walked out one oh, night. I was about to mention this, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. We were about to go to a dinner reservation or something, mm -hmm. and Mickey Mouse was in his Christmas sweater and gear. And Minnie was about to come. They were going to switch. Yeah. I don't know. I think someone said it was in the activities guide, but we never really looked at we that. So it was that. a surprise for us. And he was like, you could meet him. And it so, was like, his Christmas sweater outside was, the like, fireplace. There was, no queue, pretty much. We've never had this before. Yeah, it was like we've never so stayed cool. at a deluxe resort like this before. Like I said, I don't know if he appeared at Old Key West. We didn't look at the activity yeah. sheet, but um, he was there. 
He was the end mini. He came after they did a switch over because there were people in the queue and they're like, I don't know, we're waiting for mini, so you go ahead of us. So yeah. like, oh, mini's coming too. So we got a photo with Mickey. We've never had that, um, been able to do that at a resort before. So we thought that was really cool. As my sister mentioned before, it literally brought tears to my eyes. I'm a Christmas person. I love Christmas, Christmas all time. All day, every day, Christmas. I just love Christmas. And we, once again, we don't check the activities guide. We don't check what the hell's happening because we're there for the theme parks. Like, we do enjoy our resort, but we're still going for the theme yeah. parks. And we walk out the lobby, that's it, into the hub area. And I noticed all these ladies in black. And I was like, this is weird. They're all just wearing black. I'm like, okay, like, they can do them. And then they all got together in like a and they had fold and a U shape and, like, and I'm like I'm like what the hell is happening here and then they start seeing Christmas carols they were carols and I got tears in my eyes I'm it like, was the coolest this thing this is ever. the most amazing thing ever so at Christmas time I believe it's like a Friday Saturday night thing because then on our last night on the Friday night they were back there yeah, again was, uh, they might have been there every group, night though. I don't know but we um <laughs> we went there obviously yeah. all the time we we're in the parks they had carolers and we never had carols we we're actually yeah. at we were at another deluxe resort and there were carolers there as well. And I'm like, oh, maybe this is like a normal thing. I don't remember which resort we saw them. I know though on, I was on Facebook and someone in like a DVC group said that, like posted that they were at Animal, the like group of carolers did it at, at Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom Lodge as well. So at yeah. that hotel they had carolers go. Yeah, so I think they might do it at Deluxe Resorts. Well, so yeah, not and sure they are just, they're not Disney performers or anything. They're no. just, they're just they're local just school, school groups, groups or choirs. college. I think the one we had was actually a college a choir. school choir. And it was just really nice yeah, to get so some cool. carols. So that was beautiful. And then on top of that, you have the boardwalk. And down on the boardwalk, you have comedians who also do like juggling. We had this whole crazy, insane hula hoop lady. Yeah, like contortionist type people. Yeah, like. so you get all this. It's free. You don't have to pay yeah. for that. If you're just walking along the boardwalk, you don't have to be staying at the boardwalk. It's just if you're at the boardwalk, it's all there. So for at entertainment and amenities, this resort definitely had more entertainment than other resorts because of its location, because of it being yeah. the boardwalk and having those extra things. We gave it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, even with the little issues with the laundry, we still thought that everything else outweighed. Yeah, completely. Restaurants. So, this is where it went down a little bit for us. You were walking distance to Epcot. If you yeah. had an annual pass, you weren't worried about park days, yeah, go to Epcot and get food. Yeah. There is way more choice in there, especially for festival running. Mm. You're going to get so much choice in there. Um, the boardwalk does have a lot of restaurants that are attached to the boardwalk, not necessarily Disney's boardwalk resort, but it's the same place. But there is no restaurant that is like, oh, this is Disney's boardwalk resort restaurant. They're all just restaurants uh, yeah. on, the on the boardwalk. So yeah. there's actually quite a fair few actual full table service restaurants. You've got Big River Grill. Yep. You've got um, Flying Fish. Flying Fish. Tutorial. Tutorial Al Forno and the ESPN Club. They are all yeah. table also service. There's a bar, the Agro Cadabra. But that's the Agro Cadabra. A bar that has small bites. There's a. Then if we're talking quick service, there's like a little pizza in the hole in the wall. Haven't heard the best things from it. Yeah. My dad got a sub from there. He actually really enjoyed it, but I haven't heard the best from the pizza from there. Um, and then there's the Boardwalk Bakery, which is where if you are staying yeah. at um, the Boardwalk, that is where you refill your refillable mugs. You can only do it in Which there. Is a bit, it's like a bit of a weird place, but oh, I, I went guess out it's one good day. When you're coming back from Epcot because you just. I went out one day when I was sick, so like I did have my pajamas on, but I wasn't getting normal my pajamas. So I just literally threw something on, looked like crap, felt like crap, and it did feel incredibly uncomfortable to walk out into the boardwalk because it felt like I was walking out into a really. Like I am. Area. You're walking out into a really yeah. public area. I'm like, if you're just at Pop Century or something, you're just walking into your lobby to fill it up and then walk back. Like, people do that in their pajamas. But here, it. I don't think you could. It, you felt you're like very you're going game. Out of the you're very game if you're walking out in your pajamas. I couldn't do it. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna have to yeah. get dressed because I just, I really wanted it, something for my throat. So I didn't like that. Uh, but you had the boardwalk bakery, which did have good food, sandwiches, and much hot items. food. Yeah, bakery items. That would make a cheese grilled cheese sandwich, tomato soup. So it was a lot of sandwiches. And then there was to go. I think it was literally just called the to go boardwalk to go. Yeah, and right. it just had cheeseburgers and, but then there was also a funnel cake final cake stand there was a funnel cake yeah. stand and there was ice cream oh, oh, Hill. there was Apple Hill 
was okay there was a lot yeah. of food choices but here's the thing unless you're eating in one of the restaurants which flying fish we ate there amazing signature restaurant very expensive but really good food not a lot of quick service. the quick service is crap and cheap yeah but actually it's not even like i don't think it's that cheap but it's cheaper and like you had to pay for fries on the side like you didn't just get sorry we say chicken yeah. nuggets and chips i mean fries for like when we got a cheeseburger from there it came with chips potato chi like a packet of chips yeah. <laughs> and then we had to order fries on top of it and like other quick service places usually don't do that yeah. that was what let it down for us the the quick service food that is available there is cheap and not the best this is why yeah. i say walk to epcot if you can get into epcot that is walk to epcot <laughs> This like our favorite food. probably thing that was like the ice cream place but oh my god that you can't was so eat good. ice cream all day every day we can if you want but you know obviously your holiday you do you we didn't feel like just the ice <laughs> no. cream all the time so no especially was, when it was cold it was not ideal as much as like we've been to a few of the table service on the boardwalk they're not like our favorite like they're good restaurants yes but well, I don't know about ESPN and Big River Grill. Like, I haven't heard the most amazing things out of those two places. But I've also never eaten there, so I can't really comment. Yeah. But, like, the two that we've been to, we've heard a lot of good things about. Mm. And we did enjoy them, but they're not, like, restaurants that we're going to go to every trip. Like, they're not, like, those... They're not our favourites. Yeah. Um, and especially so... Flying Fish being quite expensive. I think it's more of a very, like, special occasion type restaurant. Okay, there's a lot of options. I know we've just sat here and just rattled off all these options and you're like, yeah. guys, that's a it lot. It had more options than Old Key West, but downside is too. We went to get, um, and it was the morning we went to do Rise of Resistance, so... We were up pretty early, so it was only like 9 o'clock though by the time we're like, okay, let's go back to the resort and have no, a nap. No, it was about 10. Or maybe by the time we it was got 10, there, it was yeah. about 10. So, and we're like, oh, it's Nine good, 10. it's still breakfast, we can get breakfast from the bakery. Mm -hmm. We walked to the Boardwalk Bakery, and the queue was out the door, like, it was the most ridiculous Out the door, thing. around a bit, like... <sighs> yeah, and I'm like, I'm not waiting an hour for food, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. And because it, it is just a, it's not as small as the old Key West hole in the wall, it is quite big, but I don't but, think there's many people in there, and it does take a while to get yeah, your and food. And we were just like, nope, <laughs> go to bed instead. And I think that's the downfall. Like, it's cool that it's on the boardwalk because it suits the theme and the location is really nice. But because it's in more of a public location, it's not necessarily just inside the hotel. Mm -hmm. A lot of, I think, people who aren't necessarily staying at the boardwalk are using it as their quick service whereas like at Old Key West people aren't just going there you're not just going to Old Key West or like you're not yeah. just going to Pop Century to go eat you're not going to wake up and be like let's yeah. go to Pop Century for so breakfast that was like a downfall that we had a bunch of people probably like that weren't guests at the resort using the quick service so that sort of affected for them. restaurants like there's a lot of options I still heavily believe just go to Epcot if you're hungry we like variety. We I'll eat a cheeseburger, but I'm not eating cheeseburger every day. Yeah. Um, and I'll eat chicken nuggets, but I'm not eating it every day. You know, I, I like having a bit of variety in my life. So we gave it a seven and a half um, because there are, there's a heaps to choose from. It's just not the most amazing food. Like you can yeah. get you can get better food elsewhere. You can get better food at Epcot or jump on the Skyliner and go to Caribbean Beach, Pop Century, Art of Animation. Riviera. Because though food, no, Riviera doesn't have a big range of food courts. It's really weird, we like food courts, if you couldn't tell, because we like having a big option of food. Like she yeah. might sit down and be like, well, I want pizza, and then I'm gonna be like, oh, well, I want roast and vegetables, and sometimes at a quick yeah. service, you're gonna get those but options. you can't do that at other quick, like. No, it's just really limited, basic. There's usually a burger, a salad, and chicken nuggets and chips. So yeah, that, that's just what let us down there, and that's probably why we're, we are bigger fans of a value and moderate for that reason, because we don't have a kitchen, even though we say DVC, so we're not cooking our food, but we can't afford to eat deluxe, and uh, deluxe. We can't afford to eat table service, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I couldn't eat it all anyway, but yeah, I think it just we look for good. Suit yeah, our, it doesn't just doesn't suit us. So it, other so resorts nice. might be different, like their quick service. Like for example, if we stayed at the Poly, mm -hmm. we'd probably say the food was amazing because we love all of those restaurants. We love restaurants, that food, but there's not that we, much on the menu either there. But we just love we it. We love the quick service food there. So that would be a different. Depends story. on the person. Yeah. I actually think the Contemporary might be one of the best. So I feel like they have a big menu at mm -hmm. their Contemporary Cafe. Yeah, and also I feel like it's quite the big. Grand Floridian apparently is. Yeah, good as well. Um, yeah. So apparently she's going to be on the monorail loop. Yeah. Um, that's not expensive at all. But yeah, so we gave it a seven and a half. Now, let's give it an overall. That is all the categories that is done. Would you say again? 
Yes. 100% and of we're Stegan. we're actually hoping to Stegan. We're hoping to Stegan. Trend. That Fingers we're crossed. Trying to plan, so. We loved that we were very close to Epcot. Walking distance to Hollywood Studios, like my sister yeah. said, was great for that Rise of the Resistance. Yeah, really helpful. Because at 4 a.m., that's what you want to be doing, walk into a theme park. That was what we were doing. And but it was it was ex it was extremely helpful. You felt like you're really in it. You are still inside the theme parks. You are in Disney. Yeah. You can still relax if that's what you want to do, but I feel yeah. like you don't get a, a relaxation vibe out of this yeah. resort. Would I recommend this to others? A thousand percent, especially if you yeah. like the idea of walking to those two theme parks and you love. What is those theme parks? If I had someone yeah, who I your knew, favorite theme parks, that would be such oh, a good be amazing. resort for you. If I had somebody who was like massive Star Wars fan, doesn't like Disney, going for the first time, I'd recommend the Boardwalk. You're walking distance to Hollywood Studios. Epcot's a more adulty type resort. Um, yeah, park. Park. I'm sorry. Adulty type park. Um, you feel like you're in Disney, but once again, Disney is not being vomited in your face. Like, there's no characters jumping out at you, or yeah. the theming doesn't have many characters in it. It might be really subtle Disney theming. It is overly themed boardwalk, but it's not like Mickey Mouse face. and Minnie yeah. Mouse outside and statues and, and all that all that sort of stuff. So I think it's an adulty sort of area, but still can have kids as well. It's not as, yeah. it's not as adulty as Riviera. I'd say Riviera is very adult. Yeah. Grand Floridian is very no, adult. It's a, still a fun resort, but it does have... Like, it's more upbeat, more go, go, go. Yeah. Once we've added all those scores together, averaged it out, the boardwalk got eight and a half out of 10. It's exactly the same as Old oh, Key West. We did say though, I was saying to my sister, like out, out of the t those two that we went on our last trip, I think I did prefer the boardwalk. It was my more favorite resort out of the two. But I think with the scores being the same, it was ref we had to have that reflected on the things that happened because we actually had quite a few issues with of the like maintenance and stuff like that and you know we had issues here and there with things as much as we personally loved the theme and loved the resort and where it was and all that sort of stuff we had to account for that so that's mm -hmm. it probably would have got a high score if we didn't have as many situate like things happen to us yeah for but, me for me i did love the boardwalk it's hard i think i did like old key west but i have very good reasoning why i preferred old key west in my first week I wanted to be in the theme parks, and I probably wished I had been at Old Key West. I mean, at the boardwalk. In the second week, I got sick. I wanted to relax. I wanted to sleep. And I didn't have as a comfortable bed at the boardwalk. Um, it was, like I said, very go, go, go. Although I was very grateful to be walking distance, I just wish they had been switched for me just due to, to what happened because I actually did yeah. get sick. You probably um, would have enjoyed the boardwalk. I would have enjoyed the boardwalk more in the first week when I was like, yeah, let's go to the theme. Like, yeah. But in that second week, I, I was like, Mickey was, when, when Ali says, no, we can skip happily ever after, you know there's something wrong. Yeah. You know, I'm like, like, I'm okay. sick. So that's the only thing, but I did, I did love, I did love the boardwalk. If I was really wanted to do theme parks, go heavy, go hard, I'd say the boardwalk. I did love Old Key West for the relaxation and I wished they would just switch just because I got sick and that second week would have been like, let's just sit at the spa at Old Key West and have nobody annoy me instead of the spa at the boardwalk, which is full of like yeah, it's 20 really people. Full, so. That was, that was the only thing, only because I got sick and had that happen and my bed was, I did sleep on the pull-out bed, I just want to mention this, I slept on the pull-out bed, I'm a bigger person, I'm not skinny, um, I did find it slightly uncomfortable, I do also have neck issues and back issues, but I wasn't about to give my 70 year old dad the pull-out bed, so I gave him the proper bed. Quite often, if he got up early, I would switch into his bed <laughs> and lie yeah. there just because it felt a bit more comfortable. But it is something to consider. If you're a bit of a heavier person and you're like, I'm going to sleep on... But it was the still couch, a bed. Yeah. It still worked as a bed, but I'd often wake up a little bit stiff and sore. It wasn't like the comfiest thing in the world. That was the boardwalk. So we hope you enjoyed this review. If you said the boardwalk, let us know below what you thought of the resort. And if we're right, if we're wrong, more than happy to be wrong. Let us know what yeah, if you had issues. If you didn't have issues, once again, the staff are amazing. Do not want to put that out there? The staff were absolutely incredible at yeah. this resort. That is it. That is our review of the boardwalk. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Check out my room tour of the boardwalk, of the deluxe studio, if you want to see what that looked like. And I will see you all next time in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.